guys, Angel here. So excited about this video. I am yet doing another video answering a question from a Facebook friend. I believe she's from Facebook. So let's get into the question and then I'm going to give you guys my answer to her question. It says, good morning, Angel. I woke up this morning and watched a few of your videos. I am so excited for your book to come out. So am I. I am 27 and I believe that it would really help me. I know that you and your husband have been together for 20 years, so I'm hoping that you could give me some advice. I've been with my boyfriend going on five years. We have two children together, one together and one from his previous relationship. We are at a point in our relationship where I feel like just walking away. He is not a bad man, but I feel emotionally neglected in our relationship. I feel like I'm not important to him anymore. I feel like he is running from his responsibility at home by hanging with his friends. I need help around the house and with our daughter, but I feel frustrated and won't ask. So he doesn't help as much as he should. Over the past two years, I have built up a wall with him because I am afraid to, to be hurt. He has also built up a wall over the past few years because he has lost so much he has been hit with he has been hit hard with death in his family which he has not dealt with we are still in love but i'm trying to figure out how to get back where we were or even better we have discussed counseling and he has agreed to go but i want rapid change okay which is unrealistic which she knows is unrealistic but I get frustrated when I don't see change. I hope you can give me some advice so that we can rebuild our relationship. Okay, let's get into this question. First of all, um, I did a short reply to her already and let her know that the most important thing that I got out of this letter is the fact that they are still in love. Now, every relationship has its bumps and its bruises. So... She didn't say how old he is, but she's 27, so I'm assuming that he's around the same age. And this is what I want to say first of all. Men mature so much slower than women do, and we all know that universally across the board. Men typically grow up a little bit slower than women do, and I, I understand the frustration that you say you ask him, to do things around the house and it gets to a point where you just get sick of asking so you don't ask anymore and then you just angrily do it all yourself. That is a huge mistake. I don't care how frustrated you get, how much you don't feel like you got to keep asking him to get involved and to do these things that you are deeming important for you and for your family, your household, and ultimately your relationship. You can never throw in the towel with that. My husband and I have been together for 20 years, like you said. It's been a little bit more than 20 years. Um, but there are still things that I have to remind him to do. Men are just like that. There is no fix to that. Uh, one of my favorite people on the planet who is who talks about relationships often is Steve Harvey. And he also and he often refers to men just being dumb. And I would like to take that um that thought process on as well. I mean, I don't like calling people dumb, but men can be a little bit slow when it comes to things. And as a woman, and I say this all the time, I've said this to family members and everything that have come to me, knowing that Doug and I have been together for 20 years, people say, well, how do you get him to do X, Y, and Z? I don't. You, there comes a point, I believe, in every woman's life that is married to a man where she just has to literally woman up. And if there's something that she needs and wants from that man, she just simply has to ask. And not just once, twice, three, four, five, seven, eight, twenty-five times. If that's what it takes. If you if you're telling me that both of you guys are in this relationship and neither one of you guys want to leave the relationship, you as a woman, you're going to have to grab a hold of the reality that men are just like that. They don't naturally just pick up these. Some men do. I'm not going to count all men out, but most men don't naturally just start helping around the house and, and naturally helping with the children, even though you would think, well, it's his kid. Why isn't he doing something? In their mind, it's like she's got it, especially 
if you keep letting things go. I don't care how many times you have to ask him. If you need his help, you're going to have to ask him each and every single time. Men are not mind readers, nor are women for that matter. But if you want something, you have to ask for it. Clearly, the scripture tells us you have not because you ask not. That doesn't just mean God. That also means with anything in relationships, in working relationships, and whatever across the board. You don't have because you don't ask. And so you really do have to continue to ask. Hopefully he will eventually pick up and just start doing these things. But if he doesn't and both of you guys are still in this to win it, you, that's just something that you're going to have to be okay with as a woman and as the, the literally the thermostat of your home, meaning the old saying, you know, happy wife, happy life. We really do control the temperatures of our home as women most of the time. Most of the time we do. So that's just something you're literally just going to have to... Um, be okay with you didn't mention anything in here about him uh cheating and basically you're telling me both of you guys have checked out both of you guys have literally checked out you said you built up some walls he's built up excuse me he's built up some walls how you can't do anything with walls being uh with walls between you guys you're literally if, if I'm standing on one side of the wall and somebody's standing on the other side and I want to communicate with them, the only way to communicate is to yell. So I'm sure there's a whole bunch of yelling going on, which doesn't make you feel good, does nothing for the relationship, and definitely doesn't do anything good for the kids. So on your own time, you say you've built up a wall because you're tired of being hurt. Well, guess what? As long as you have breath in your body, you're going to get hurt. Not just by him. Your children are going to make some mistakes and some choices that you that are going to hurt you. There's going to be somebody out on the street that's going to do something, say something to you different, and it's going to hurt you. And that includes your husband. We cannot live life with a wall built up around us if we um, are expecting to live a happy and prosperous life. You doing your, the walls that you have built up have absolutely nothing to do with him. You're going to have to literally take those bricks down one by one on your own time doing, this is, this is you. This is not his stuff. His wall is going to have to come down through him taking it down. There's nothing you can do to help him take those walls down except loving each other. And when I say loving each other, I mean accepting each other literally where you guys are now. He's dealing with death or not dealing with death in his family. We really don't know how he's dealing with that. Those bricks that he's put up, he's going to have to take those down individually um, himself. And for you to uh, suggest that you guys both go get counseling and he's agreeing to it, I suggest you go. Like quick, fast, and in a hurry. Because to get a man to agree to go see a counselor, to go talk to somebody that they don't know and to talk about their feelings, that's a pretty big deal because most men won't do that. So make that appointment, get in there with that counselor's office and you guys get get the work done together. My husband and I both went to counseling. We went individually and then we came together and went through counseling. There's First of all, there's absolutely nothing wrong with going to counseling, but because he has agreed to it, I would suggest that you act swiftly and make that um, make that counselor's appointment. And and you even you said that uh, you want rapid change, lol, which is unrealistic. You already know it's unrealistic to have this rapid change that you're hoping for. So don't don't set yourself up for disappointment. And stick with the reality of this is going to take some time. This is years in the making that you have been putting up these walls and him too. It's not going to take overnight unless you guys rent a bulldozer. Unless Jesus himself comes and sits in the midst of you guys. That's the only way that you're going to get these walls down just like that. So don't be unrealistic with yourself. It's not fair for you. It's not fair for your your um, your boyfriend. And it's not fair for your children to put these unrealistic expectations out into, into your household. As far as you feeling emotionally abandoned, I believe that's what you said. Emotionally... 
Okay, you said um, you feel emotionally neglected in your relationship. I know a lot of women feel like their emotions are neglected in their relationships because we are so freaking emotional and men are the total opposite. They just don't get it. So your emotions belong to you. You have to learn how to control them. And don't give the job of your emotions to him. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I used to do that with my husband all the time. If I wasn't happy, I was looking to him to do the job. That's too much. That's not fair. That's too much for him. And finally, I would suggest that you guys get the book, uh, The Five Love Languages. I can't think of it off of the top of my mind, but I'll post it, the author um, of that book here. This is so important. I mean, this is so, it's so important that I believe that it should be taught in schools. All of us have a love language. So when two people get together, my love language is totally different from my husband's. I like to be loved totally different than my husband likes to be loved. So I have to, we've read this book together. We know what our top five love languages are. And so I have to be conscious enough on a, on a daily basis to make sure I'm loving him in the way that he receives love and vice versa. He has to do the same for me. I really believe that's such a powerful book because your boyfriend could be loving you in his way, but because it's not the way that you receive love, you are interpreting it as he doesn't care about you. He doesn't put you first. He's going out with his friends all the time. You need to know what his love language is and he. you need to find out what your love language is so you can convey that message to him and then you guys can start to build from that platform. With you guys building with walls in between you two, it's not going to work. Obviously, you know that because you wrote me this, this, uh, this question. You know that the walls are not going to work, so start to take them down. Don't live your life being guarded or not really wanting to open up because you're afraid of being hurt. We're all going to get every last one of us is walking with a thorn in our side. Everybody has something that they're dealing with and that they have to continue to deal with for the rest of their life. Right now, I'm sitting here in pain. Not physical pain, like I'm good physically, but emotionally, there are some things that everybody is dealing with, but you keep it moving. So I really hope this video has helped you. I really want you to get the book. The book is so, it, it's life changing. It is, it's life changing for every single relationship and ultimately for every marriage. So Miss Awesomeness, I absolutely love you. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.